Well, when you think of reality TV, you may think of shows like Survivor or The Jersey Shore. Networks and cable companies are thinking too, thinking of the ways they can shake up programming. For more on this week's Monday Media theme, we check in right now with Matt Thompson. He is of the law firm Stroke and Stroke, and he joins us now from Los Angeles. Matt, so glad to have you with us. So it seems like reality TV viewers want more a day-to-day -day life experience, like The Biggest Loser, for example, versus Survivor. Is that a trend that you think is going to hold? Absolutely. There's been a movement away from so-called celeb reality TV and towards young adult real life reality TV. If you look at the success of the show, the show you just mentioned, uh, uh, the, the Jersey Shore, and you look at the recently announced programming lineup at VH1, they are really moving in the direction of young adult reality TV. So we're going to just see more and more day in the life of. I believe so, but I think that the uh, the attempt is to connect with the audience that is actually watching this programming. So far, it's been primarily a network, excuse me, a cable network uh, phenomenon. But it'll be interesting to see whether or not any of the major networks, in fact, follow this trend. And I mean, Matt, what's the danger that it's too niche? I, there's always a risk that you eventually are going to turn off your audience, but that was one of the arguments uh, against VH1's programming, for example, prior to this. If you look at the VH1 history in 2004, they were really an also-ran you know, music network, and they moved in the direction of reality programming, and they concentrated in celeb reality, and they had a lot of success in that regard. But it sort of became too much of the same over and over type programming, hence the desire to move in the direction of a young adult reality TV and replicate the success of shows like Jersey Shore. And Matt, I mean, a lot of the material, a lot of the ideas for these reality TV stories or rather shows have come from overseas. I mean, we just showed some clips from American Idol that apparently the idea anyway was born in the UK and there's a lot of other ones we could list. Is that going to continue? Absolutely, but there's a very interesting phenomenon going on there as well. Uh, historically, the shows have been recreated in the United States. In other words, a format would be acquired from a foreign producer, and American producers would then produce it for the American marketplace. Uh, occasionally in the past, cable networks have taken uh, shows and rebroadcast them in the U.S., literally taken the show that had been transmitted in the foreign marketplace and broadcast them here. For the first time ever, some of the networks are talking about doing the same. Rumor has it, for example, that the CW is going to rebroadcast several UK shows this summer as part of their summer lineup. But in addition to that, yes, the trend will continue of re creating the shows for the American marketplace. Survivor was a foreign show. American Idol, as you mentioned, was a foreign show that has been recreated for the U.S. And I mean, we've seen it with some sitcoms too, right? Like The Office. And Ugly Betty, absolutely. All right, Matt, we thank you so much for your time. Matt Thompson joining us there from the law firm Stuke and Stuke. He is joining us from L.A. there.